Welcome back, Kiss Army, to another episode of We Are One. Hey, what's going on, Kiss Army? Here I am, and here you are. Welcome to the Psycho Circus, and welcome to the show where we have another day to shout it out loud. Today, we're going to be talking about how Ace Freely talks about how it's super easy to get Kiss alumni together. Now, this is no surprise that Ace has said something like this, especially considering what Doc McGee has recently said about Ace appearing on some point on a tour date for the end of the road. Doc said, yeah, Ace will definitely show up kind of thing. And Ace says he's never, you know, heard a call about it, but it wouldn't be that difficult to do. So Ace said it's easier than people might believe to reconnect with Kiss. As he explained how he arranged his studio collaborations with former bandmates Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons and with current Kiss drummer Eric Singer. Ace's latest original album material, Spaceman, features a bass track by Gene and Gene also had two co-writing credits on it. While the pair recently toured together a couple of years ago and Paul appeared on Ace's 2016 Origins Volume 1. A track recorded with Eric Singer was also there, but it was not actually included on the album. So, Guitar World asked Ace about, you know, reconnecting with Kiss. And Ace said, it was really easy, really simple. I've known Gene for 45 years. He's one of my rock and roll brothers. He came over, sat down, started playing, and I joined in. It's pretty matter of fact. I called Gene and I said, you want to write a couple of songs with me? Everybody thinks there's this mysterious thing you got to do to get two KISS guys together, you know? But we all have the other cell phone numbers and we just call each other. The same thing happened when I asked Paul to do the video and sing on Fire and Water. It just happened. It was, yeah, I'd love to do it. Okay, great. Let's do it. Ace explained the decision to leave Eric Singer's track, however, off of Spaceman was this. He said, when I was picking songs, I'm kind of superstitious, and 40 years ago, my 78 solo album came out, and that had nine songs. So I wanted to limit this one to nine songs, too, he said. So it came down to the instrumental Quantum Flux or the blues song. So I ended up dropping the blues song, because every album I've ever had released has an instrumental on it. So that was the thinking behind that. But this blues track could end up on a bonus edition somewhere down the line. Ace is pretty straight shooter recently in these days. So if he says it's pretty simple to get Kiss alumni and all it would take for him, it sounds like, is for Paul, Gene, or Doc to call him and says, Hey Ace, do you want to appear at this tour date? He'll say, okay. As long as, you know, I'm sure they're going to have to pay him. Because Ace has talked about, all you got to do is the money's right and everything's like that, we could do it. But he was referring to that when it was a real full-length, you know, kind of tour with him. Whereas now it would probably just be like a guest appearance to sing Shock Me or something like that. So we'll have to see if Doc's words about Ace actually appearing on the End of the Road tour at some point are true. Let me know what you guys think. Talk to me in the comment section down below. Shout it out loud. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, God bless you and God give rock and roll to you.